rope bench embossed belt looked really good if all you do is put some finish on it, but there is a lot more you can do with it to make it look even better. Here are a few ideas for you to really dress up these belts. Here's a really good looking uh, basket weave belt using the rope edge embossed belt. Let me show you how to do that. The first thing to do is scribe a light line down the middle of the belt with a wing divider. And then with the number 802-2 basket stamp, we will just put it diagonally across that line, as you can see. And now we will just walk down that line, overlapping as far as we can on each impression. We'll go all the way down the middle with the center line going across the stamp from corner to corner. To put in the second row, as you can see, I'm leaning the tool so that I only get a partial impression. I'm leaning the tool in toward the center and hitting just lightly. And now as you can see, I'm coming up the other side doing the same thing. Tipping the tool toward the center and striking just lightly. Here is another nice design we can do with a basket stamp. For this one, I'd like to use the number X511 basket stamp. And like we did with the first one, we'll use a wing divider and we'll put a line down the center. Now with our basket stamp, we will put it exactly on the line somewhere around the middle of the belt. Notice that I leaned it some so that I would not go all the way to the edge. So now I will turn it and go overlap as far as I can and make another impression. I'll make one on the other, on the other end. Now we will turn it and we'll do two more impressions. Again, with the emphasis being toward the center of the belt. And turn. And we will do this all the way down the length of our belt. Depending upon the size of the tool you're using, you may need to come back and lightly put in another row, as you see me doing here. Lean it toward the center and hit very lightly. We'll do this on both sides. Here is a sort of a Native American looking design that's real easy to do. Let me show you how to do that one. To do our Native American design, I'm going to use the number F926D stamping tool. And as you can see, I have put a guideline down the center with my wing dividers. Now I will set this tool exactly on the line. And now I will stamp right on the line all the way down the length of my belt. Please notice now I am placing the tool, as you can see, at the juncture of the other impressions. 
I'm leaning it toward the center and tapping lightly. Now we will do this on both sides. Here are a few coloring and finishing ideas using Super Sheen as a resist with gel antique and highlight stain. As you can see with these belts and some stamping tools and some dye and finish you're only limited by your imagination.